Hi there, today we're going to talk about cover cropping and right now we have these rows of fava beans. Uh, we really had no intention of eating the beans from these plants this time. They're flowering now and they're going to turn into beans pretty soon. But what we're after is uh, a soil amendment. We're actually getting nitrogen. These are nitrogen affixing plants. Um, so if you guys move in this way, you come on in right here. I'm going to actually pull this plant and the, and the root. Normally we leave the root in there, but I wanted to show you guys what's attached to the bottom of this thing. So if you pull this thing up and you're able to get in real close, you can actually see that it is attaching nitrogen here. And if I plant my tomato plant, so if I would have, what I want to do normally is chop these off at the root line, leave the root in, plant my tomato plants nearby. And the tomato plants will actually gather the nitrogen from these leftover fava bean roots. And the roots will decay too and become food and kind of compost themselves. So it's a, it's a great cover crop. So I'm not going to pull all these. I'm actually going to go through and cut them. And really, I'm just going to come real close to the root line. I don't know if you guys can get in here to see this. So I'm actually going to come through and just clip the tops of all these fava beans, clear them back, and leave leave the roots in so I know where to plant my tomato plants. You guys can see I'm sort of clearing some space up here. Come through, chop all these. Be careful you don't chop your drip irrigation system, which is laying right here. So now I've cleared an area and you can see I have these three plants here. I'm gonna go ahead and plant my tomato plant right here in the middle of these three so that I get nitrogen from the leftover roots of these three old fava bean plants. Happy planting!